patrons. I uh, just thought I'd do this short uh, video because uh, I've had a couple of you ask me about the NEMA 24s uh, that I was using on the Maxi, I think it was. Um, of course, I think you're all having difficulty in purchasing the 4 newton meter um, standard type of stepper motors. Well, yeah. <laughs> Um, everybody's sort of moving towards um, <clears throat> closed loop steppers or uh, servo uh, stepper motors, as indeed I am as well. I've just ordered a, a load of uh, NEMA 34s actually for the, um, uh, the big mill build. Um, okay, so I've had a couple of you including Ben, who uh, asked me this week, who's from Tasmania, actually. Um, so he asked me, uh, you know, what my thoughts were. So uh, this is what I would do, and I, I am doing from now on. Um, still a big believer of uh, the NEMA 24s. Um, and I always use uh, Stepper Online. Uh, they give me a 10% discount. So that's why I push them a little as well. Um, <clears throat> now it depends on whether you want to, you know, order just two um, power units, power supplies, then it's probably better to uh, order these separately all right, or you know, order four, then go uh, and order the um, the power supplies. Or if you're happy with the power supply that uh, Stepper on Motor suggest, um, you can purchase it with with the kit, as it were, which is the, um, the Stepper. Let's, let's open this up. You're going to lose me for a minute. Um, so yeah, you get the stepper motor, um, and of course you, being a uh, hybrid servo motor, uh, you get the information coming back and forth, you know, the telemetry back and forth uh, from the, the servo motor to the driver. Uh, down this cable, and this one here is the normal four, uh, you know, four uh, lead. Um, power supply to the coils in here and you know you get the extension lead no I think it's about one and a half meters or something like that um, each let's have a look down here uh, further down here we go And here we are, four newton meter uh, closed loop stepper. Um, it just gives you a little bit of the specifications. What I'm looking for is the leads, 1.7, 1.7 meters long, um, which may or may not be enough. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Uh, but that, that doesn't really matter. Um, what I would tend to do, as I, indeed I do do, <laughs> um, you know, you just match the colours up, you know, you sort of, uh, you go to uh, JCAR or somewhere like that, or um, Home Depot, and um, just get, uh, you know, sort of, in this case, you know, it doesn't mean to, need to be any more than one amp uh, lead, very thin lead, and just sort of get the, uh, you know, a small roll of each colour, um, or buy multi sort of core lead. Um, telephone cable lead is okay for this one, actually. It's because uh, telephone lead is already screened, you know. You're not going to get any interference on it, and they come with, I think, up to eight 
um, leads inside and it is fine for this because it's only telemetry that's going through this lead. This is the one that you get up to oh, 8 amps. So yeah, you, you'd want at least 10 amp lead for that. Um, so, and that is, you know, very easy to come by. Even four, you know, four core uh, lead 10 amp is easy to come by um, for, for this one. So you just join the wire up, you know, from here um, to your your um, power unit, you know, your your module, which we're going to you're going to have to build. Uh, not too difficult at all. You know, it's an extra extra six wires difference between uh, a standard uh, stepper motor and uh, you know hybrid servo motor and of course these are you know vastly better uh, and as I say unfortunately you they're just not making or carrying the standard uh, stepper motors uh, in this size of uh, NEMA 24 uh, you still get uh, NEMA 23s if you're happy with those. They got to 3 Newton meters, but um, I, I prefer the extra little bit of grunt. Um, and it's the, the holding power more than anything. Um, you know, with the, with the CNC routers, uh, well, and the mills for that matter. So, um, yes, there you go. That's what, That's the answer to the questions that I've been having. Um, where am I? I'm here somewhere. There I am. Let's make me a little bigger. There you go. Okay, so that's the answer to um, the stepper motor problem um, that some of you are experiencing. So um, there you go. There's your answer. <laughs> So again, guys, thank you for being there. And I, I know I always say this, but I, I do intend to, uh, you know, put a lot more on uh, Patreon, uh, a lot more content on Patreon. And uh, you know, I'm starting with this this video this year. Um, sort of coming up. I mean, I, I've just actually uh, the other day. I received the delivery of the uh, high, again servo motors uh, NEMA 34s for the uh, the mill. There's been a quite a bit of delay, actually. Um, and it's only this morning I had an email saying that uh, my screws, you know, <laughs> were on the way, and I'm putting uh, double ball screws in. That was a bit of a problem. Because the, the, you know, the Chinese are having a bit of a problem. Yes, it was only last week that um, I had confirmation that uh, they had the double uh, nut ball screws. I'm putting dual, uh, dual ball nuts on the races of the, the mill. Uh, try to get it down to, you know, sort of that it will, I suppose, repeated, repeatedly, um, you know, sort of machine to a thousandth of an inch. Uh, with the, the, the small little mill, it will do it uh, with a bit of a push if you slow it right up. Um, and I, I do notice, you know, sort of the, the faster you run it, the faster you, you have the speed and feeds, um, it um, it sort of goes off a little, um, and I'm sort of putting that down to, um, you know, the, the actual ball screws themselves. Uh, it's the only thing I can put it down to. Um, anyway, so uh, you know, I've I've got stuff coming in for that, um, and hopefully we'll be be starting that. Uh, in the not too distant future, probably about oh, maybe Easter time. Um, 
since Christmas I haven't been able to do too much but uh, what I have done um, uh, like now I'm, I'm this week I'm building the bed uh, in the, the the Queen Ant and um, I want to get that finished and, and it's running I haven't cut anything with it yet but I want to get the bed in it and um, you know sort of make a bit of a door for the front and tidy the wiring up and I should I don't know whether I'll have it finished for this weekend hopefully maybe um, but there's that and um, yeah I've decided that um, I'm just gonna have to <laughs> sell some of the machines I've got because uh, it's it's just <laughs> it's getting a bit crowded in my workshop so um, I'll I probably I'll probably sell most of the things and, and just keep the keep one of the rotors and um, um, and of course I you know I'm building this mill so I'd be selling the the um, the, the little mini mill the little X3 uh, X3 X2 <laughs> um, so you know if anybody local is interested just let me know it doesn't make sense I don't think sort of uh, sending it overseas or anything like that but uh, you know it may do to someone um, so I'm open to offers for all of them really so okay so that's the update for now and uh, that's what I've been up to so again guys thank you all for being there and uh, I'm going to try and make this uh, I don't know at least a monthly thing and I, I can put other things up in the in the meantime you know in between times because um, I want to start putting up the um, everything that I'm getting for the the new mill um, but of course, I, I, I don't want to do that until I've received it and I've checked it out. I mean, look, I know it's all going to be okay. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have ordered it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so as soon as I get it here, so I've got it in my hands and I can show you guys then. And uh, we'll build that. Okay then. So, until the next video, it's bye for now.